In this tutorial, we'll look at how to add animations to your presentations using Clever's Animation drop-down. To make it easier to see what's going on, I'm going to use a very simple scene, the Presentation Neutral Mat preset, which you can find on the Create Project screen. As you can see, the scene consists of a simple cube. It also has three steps and their associated cameras already set up. If I preview the presentation by going to the Project menu and clicking on Preview, we can see the result. As you can see, when I click the Next button in the presentation, the camera moves, but the cube does not. It always stays in the same place with respect to the background. We're going to make the cube itself animate. To do this, go to the Insert menu, choose the Animation drop-down, and click 3D Movement. Click anywhere in the scene to create a new movement. The Target Object dialog will appear. You can select any of the objects in the scene to assign a movement to. Choose the cube, and click OK. You can see that the properties for the movement have appeared on the right of the screen. First, let's make the cube lift up into the air. That means moving it upwards on the z-axis, so in the To field, type in a value of 50. We want this to happen after the first step of the presentation, so click on Exit Step. Select Step 1 from the Active Steps dialog, then click OK. You can give this movement a name. I'm going to call it Cube Up. You'll notice that nothing has happened to the cube yet. We'll only see the animation playing when we preview the presentation again. Before we do that, let's make the cube come back down to Earth. Again, go to the Animation drop-down and select 3D Movement. Click in the scene to create a new movement. Assign it to the cube and click OK. By now the cube will already be at 50 in the z-axis, so type 50 in the From field. We want it to come back down to 0, so type 0 in the To field. This time we want the movement to trigger when the viewer leaves the final step of the presentation, so click on Exit Step. Select Step 3 from the Active Steps dialog, then click OK. Again, you can name the movement. I'm going to call it Cube Down. Now let's preview the presentation to see the results. Go back to the Project menu and press Preview, then Save. Now when you click the Next button, you can see that the cube rises into the air, the camera moves round it, and then it comes back down to Earth again. You can use the same workflow to create other types of animation. In this presentation, I've added two more movements to my cube. You can view the movements you have in a presentation by going to the Presentation menu and clicking Dynamic. If we look at the Rotate Forward movement, you can see that I've chosen Rotation from the drop-down instead of Position, and that I've set the cube to rotate by 45 degrees in the X and Y axes. In the Rotate Back movement, I've set it to rotate back to its original position. If I preview the presentation, you can see all four movements playing in sequence. By combining movements in this way, you can create much more complex animations. Check out the 3D graphic card presentation from the Browse Projects screen to see how you can create an exploded view of a graphics card.